But now to a disturbing trend in the United States military. New data from the Pentagon shows that suicides in the Army have increased substantially over the course of a year. That's right, Kate. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live now here with how active service members and veterans can get the treatment that they need. Rosemary, what trend did you find? Well, Kennedy, see, according to the federal data, suicides in the United States Army increased by 46%. Now over the course, that was over a course of the year. Now according to the numbers just made public, 41 of those were 41 active duty soldiers. That was in the spring of 2020. And in this spring 2021, 60 active duty soldiers committed suicide. These were all active service members, but veterans also can have suicidal thoughts even after leaving the service. I'm not surprised. Um, we've always known that uh, suicidality among uh, military or soldiers is very high. Fabiola Eckleberry wasn't surprised when she heard that suicides in the Army are quickly ascending. Eckleberry is a psychotherapist specializing in trauma. Some of her patients include veterans wrestling with PTSD. She tells me the human brain isn't geared to handle many of the situations they fall into. You're, you're taught to shut down all your feelings and go towards the danger. And when you're in the, in deployed, even if you're not necessarily in active combat, their brain is being uh, act, uh, triggered in that fight and flight. She says that suicide often occurs because they fail to seek help. Veterans, a lot of times they will not say anything because you know that their career's on the life. They might get medically retired or they might not get that, um, you know, rank or whatever they're working towards. But families can be on the lookout. By learning about some of the warning signs related to suicide and some of the risk factors related to suicide as well. Eckleberry tells me some of those symptoms go unnoticed, including trouble sleeping, anger outbursts, and agitation. A lot of stigma. There's still the, the stigma among the military that, you know, mental health was is not okay. And KNJC, the Department of Veterans, wanted to remind our viewers that they have programs that are available, including suicide prevention and medical and mental needs services. Back to you guys.